Hi folks, Mikey Bly back with some more of Sigorp Minizo 2, aka To The Moon Holiday Special Part 2. Um, and it's part 2 of my playthrough of part 2 as well, so it's all the tubes. Um, Neil is up to something weird, which I feel like kind of is what we could say throughout every single game that Neil has been in. Um, I don't know, he's been devising some kind of his own, like, helmet thing. And Eva just saw a copy of herself walking across the road. Was that a hallucination? Is Neil messing with something he shouldn't be messing with? Well, yes, probably. Only one way to answer all these questions for sure, though, and it's to carry on with the story. And here we are in Neil's office. Let's just see. He's obviously trying to make something work for once. Come on. 30th time's the charm. Huh. And... The moment of truth. Tcha! Circuit abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. What the? Curse word I won't even try and interpret. How does that even? I better get down the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. Hooby dooby doo. At least the elevator is on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. Dooby doo. So can we look at my shit? Is there anything I can? Ketchup? Oh, I'll make ketchup. Mm -mm. <laughs> so he's using the tomatoes that the protesters are throwing to make ketchup with. I just got that joke from the first part, by the way, if you didn't realise that. Uh, you doing hide and stuff? Yeah, of course. You don't want to be. You can't be too careful, right? Especially since he seems to be messing around with stuff he really shouldn't be messing around with. Creepy. Just make sure we let the doors open. Oh, Eva's. Man, she's terrible for not locking her office door. Is there anything clickable in here? Mm, and, um, uh, the answer is no, there isn't. There really isn't. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, we go with the washrooms in the dark. That'd be creepy. Nothing. 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 Oh, not even creepy in the not even creepy in the bathroom. The bathroom is always creepy in horror games. I know this isn't technically a horror game, but the music certainly setting it up to be that way. So I guess we just go down then. We didn't check out. We can actually check everywhere else out. I don't see there's anyone kicking around in the lounge. Shouldn't be right. Everyone should be gone. Everyone looks to be wrapping up. Oh yeah, everyone's gone. Man, Neil's got no imagination. Doesn't want to look at anything. Fine. You didn't leave your gift. You didn't leave your gift in the bloody meeting room, did you, Neil? Oh no, he did. Good. Good boy. Well, what does he say about the helmets? Such wasted potential of a miracle. Ah. So here he is. He's messing around with the design a little bit. He's, he's got his own little prototype going on. Well, I mean, that was obvious, but it's interesting to hear what he thinks about current work that he does. Okay, lobby time. I don't know which way the basement is. Oh, it's telling me which way the basement is. Not today. This is not to leave yet. Good, all right. Basement it is. Oh, 
lovely, not scary. Is that a broom? Why is there a... Well, I guess the janitor needs to keep his stuff somewhere. Let's do this. For a tech facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. Access profile loaded. Dr. Neil Watts. Access time. 1947. 7.47 p.m. Alright, let's get you booted up first. Power status. Charging for reignition. Charging for reignition? Ugh, now let's see what happened here. It's almost as if someone did a manual shut off. Fetching operation record. I don't understand. This can't be right. There must be a glitch in the system. It said that it ever turned it off. Who's there? <laughs> Talk a bit closer. I've got a broom. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm wielding a broom. Do you wield? Uh. Uh. Footprints? Who? But the door was locked. There you are. <laughs> Impeccable timing. Power restored. Anger inevitable. How was the towel, hun? Uh, that helps. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. She was an accident, all right. Your fate was an accident. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd argue, but you're true. You're true, you're correct. <laughs> Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? What do you think they pay me for? Look, I was in beast mode and she just suddenly appeared on my turf. Not my fault that I was born with such grisly fast reflexes. Not fast enough to pull away when I realized who it was, but you know. Why did you guys come over anyway? You don't want to ask. Staying all alone in the office on your holiday off. Who does that? It was her idea. Darn right it is. I ain't having no partner of my sister suck by himself on a night like this. I wasn't so... You just shut up and listen. Yes, ma'am. You ever call in some old friends and we're all going to have a nice dinner together. And you're going to enjoy every moment of it. Prescribed happiness. Check. Wow. Kind of remind me of someone I know. Uh, there, there, hon. It's actually not that bad. Well, what was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo. Hey, uh, sorry about your face. Don't talk to me. It was the soft end of a broom. Sheesh. Come to think of it, I should have been charging you for facial massage. Go away. Should I keep pushing my luck? Hey, don't talk to me. Okay, fine. That's fine. I won't. Who says I wanted to? Anyway. Why does everybody have... Oh, we're in the, we're in the lounge. I just realised. I thought we were somewhere else. Can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Ava. It's not ours. Hmm. Man, Neil. We only just got here and you've already got Tracy all worked up. <laughs> what place has it? Can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you do with a mop. <laughs> I 
Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. Too sharp. I'm not allowed to handle a sharp object. Have you guys not had a break since the end of the year? Uh, it wasn't 100% work time, but we were always on call. Can't really help when people go poof. Man, I can't imagine doing that kind of work. Don't you guys get stressed out by the very nature of it? You tend to get used to it. Some more so than the others. Dude, what's in the box? Uh, we actually don't know. What? Yeah, come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't know whose they are. So they just sit here? Yep, that's what they do. Become part of the office furniture. I don't get it. Me neither. Some weird freaky office slash Christmas tradition. So are they like decorations? I don't know man. I don't know. Like well what what am I meant to be doing then? There's a book here. Is that a book? Nope, oh, can't interact with that. What am, what, what am I meant what, what am I meant to be I don't wanna just leave. Although to be fair, you invaded my good time. I could go back to my office, I guess. We're gonna get the dinner out ready soon. You just stay put and warm up your jaws. You gotta get the old uh, jaw muscles uh, exercised. Oh, is that it? Okay. I guess I'm still not. Alright, fine. I guess I'll I'm probably not allowed to leave, am I? Oh, I guess I am. Okay, bye. Oh, what the heck? Oh, hiya! I thought you went home. I thought you were on a date with some ice cream. Yeah, I thought so too. But as I was happily peeking out on the couch, Ava called and asked for a pickup. A pickup? What? But she's already here. Uh, hello! What the? Hi, Uncle Neil. The last time you two came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy. He's mean. <laughs> oh, wow. That kid's growing up to be a lizard. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Uh, yep. Ever just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids are getting bored at home anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go talk inside. We could be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes. I should go say hi. It's so nice to see Lily and the kids. And they call me Uncle Neil. Oh, like I need to get out of here. Back to our office, I guess. This is so cute. I love it. Oh, right. Okay, back in me in charging then. Hey, thanks for helping to drive Lily and the kids over. Oh, I did Roxy's voice instead of Ava's. <sighs> no biggie, as long as you hold up your side of the deal. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm serious. Two buckets of ice cream, no cheap outs. Two buckets of ice cream? Buckets. Do they do Hagen dazs by the bucket? Uh, yeah, Roxy, I will. Like, we're talking jumbo size here, with a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean BUCKETS! As in, I'm going to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. Uh, yeah, I'll... Where do you shop? Two jumbo recycling bin size ice cream buckets. No cheap outs. Uh, what did I get myself into? Thanks for having us over, Ava. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to take those two rascals out. Johnny's house has a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for the kids to camp out at. They do get to play outside nicely, but I keep feeling they'll trip and roll down the cliff. <sighs> yeah, that'd be suboptimal. You two should come and visit more. The kids would like that too. Yeah, but if we keep doing that, they might imply that we're a couple. What is that? A beaver? It's plat plat. 
It's not mine, but Master Diamond's caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Not really. Schmidge. Mm, okay, you can have plat plat for five minutes. That's so cute. Yay, plat plat likes you. How can you tell? Because he's not trying to get away, duh. Kids. Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? I think I just have a doctor in front of my name for the hell of it? Like, do you do surgery and stuff? No. Then you're not a real doctor. Okay, don't get me started, kid. I realize how many people I have to deal with. It comes to this kind of question. Do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither. But Neil says Dre's not a real doctor, and he's still got mad respect. So back off. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like Dr. Dre. Uh, you didn't get that from me. Where to go? Where to go, Heaven? Where to go? Hey, Jamie, what are you doing with that stuffed animal? Don't wuss out on me, son. Chillax, Dad. It's just plat plat. Ready to map pat. You guys got any policy about bringing in guests, Eva? Technically, yeah. But as long as it's just hanging out in the lobby or lounge, no one cares. Funny, I work corporate, we got cams everywhere. They seem way more high profile. Well, yeah, but it's not like we keep people's memories sitting around on discs. That I know of. Jim is going up pretty darn fast. Sometimes I feel like I can't catch up. Yeah, well, that's the way of it. Feeling all better? I live. You know, Ibrahim, you gotta come over more. I rarely see you anymore. Well, winter tends to be our busiest season. Hopefully we'll get more of a break soon. I don't like the connotations of that, winter being the busiest season, because that hints that more older folks pass away because of the cold weather, right? Ugh, don't walk too hard now. You know I'm always here if you need me. Hmm. Hey, yeah, uh, how's Jamie been doing in school? That rascal's doing fine. Says he wants to do what you do when he grows up, actually. But I ain't having none of that. One mortician's enough in this family. Uh, actually, I'd say what we do is more about life than death. Okay. Let's go find Neil. See what that sneaky bugger's up to. Wait, uh, hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. Down or up? Or is this the top floor? I'm a bit lost and confused. Oh, okay, I don't have to pick anyway. Picks for me. Oh. Down, down. Alright. Uh... Alright, so we're still basement-wise then. Or outside, not basement, I guess. What are you up to, Neil? Why are you still trying to do it when there's lots of people kicking around? Oh, okay. Hmm. Access profile loaded. Dr. Ava Rosalyn. Uh, power settings? No point in messing with the power. No. Duh, operational record. Fetching operation record. Time. 119. Oh! Oh! It showed that he shut it down. And then he came up. What? What? Weird. Why did he shut down and then restart it himself? Wait, the times. The times on the operational record match up to my time ooh spoopy I know it's easy to program games to measure time and stuff but that's very very fitting okay did he he won't have gone outside he'll have gone to his office right no maybe he did go outside why would he go outside huh. 
Still don't know who he's trying to call. Who's calling? Who is this? Son? Is that you, Neil? Oh, it's dad. Or oh, his mum. One of them. Both of them. Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No. It's not them. Then why... Why did you come back? I told you already. It was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the forks and all. But just... Don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I've got things to work on. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had dinner with other people? My sister brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid game based on that case. What are you going to do when you go home? Go eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not going to just stand out here with a cold tossing words at you. You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know there's a chair upstairs for you, whether you're coming or not. <laughs> that was intriguing. This is very intriguing. He did, he, go, he went back up. Yay, good on you, Neil. Have a night off from whatever the hell you've been doing. Oh, so nice. That was so nice. I hope he actually genuinely enjoyed himself, though, and didn't just stay because it ever guilted him into doing it. Okay, yeah, he's having fun. Yeah, he's definitely having fun. Good. Yay, Neil! Managed to switch his brain off for a bloody couple hours. It's very interesting, though, how it was him that turned the power off. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. We've already played Final Paradise, been and done, and there was a little bit of a... There was a little bit of a story with the... Oh. Oh, he's recording the sounds of the party so he can listen to it when he goes to bed. Ah! So sweet. Uh huh? Jordan, a friend who's created many of Freebird's pixel art from To the Moon's Lighthouse, Anya to Neil and Neighbors Coworkers in this minister is currently hospitalized and undergoing chemotherapy. Oh gosh, but this was so long ago. Oh. oh, I didn't know any of this. Jeez, and I'm so far behind on that. Okay, so I just, I just went on, I, I found Jordan's Twitter page, and his Twitter profile says, transplant recipient, cancer survivor, and aspiring game dev. Jordan! I'm so happy, I'm so sorry that I missed out on all that bloody news. I didn't know that. But that's that's awesome. That's it's great that it kicked cancers. But it's another nice little bit of good news for me, even though it's massively delayed. <laughs> all right, I hope you've all um, I hope you've all enjoyed Sigob Minnesota Two with me, uh, and a nice little kind of breezy bit kind of lead into the new year. Of course, there's more. Why did I think there wouldn't be? Well, well what? It wasn't so bad, was it? 
Everybody had a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs to... Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, hon. Let's get you home. She had the device on. She... It's been hinted at for a while that either Neil... Well, mostly, I think, they mostly lean towards the fact that Neil might be dying. She... At some point, and this could happen in Terminal 3 when it comes out, she's going to have to go and do Neil's, like, wish. I, I don't know if I could do that. Oh my god, that would kill me. Okay, uh, anyway. Man, it was a nice, relaxing, breezy way to end the holiday season, but now it's just ended up a bit stressful, hasn't it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it regardless. And if you haven't played To the Moon or Finding Paradise or any of this other stuff yourselves, I highly, highly recommend it. It's so fun. It's not really, you know, it's not intensive hardcore action game stuff it's walk around and listen to the story being told to you it's interactive storytelling at its bloody gosh darn finest in my opinion both games really good i mean finding paradise this is a little bit more interactive and um, like a little bit more stuff to do but definitely go check them out if you haven't checked them out as soon as we get any updates or release dates or anything for the third installment of the game of the story you know for a fact I'll be all over that. All right, okay, cool. Right, you can all go totter off and enjoy the rest of whatever you were doing now. And I'm gonna go. I have been Mikey Bly. I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I will see you all next time around. Bye for now. <laughs>